Jailbreak has been played, as of today, over 2.2 billion times. For any time anyone creates a project, I think there's a hope that it's going to be something big. I had no idea that it was going to be nearly as big as it was. I released on like a Saturday, and that day there was 60,000 people playing it at one time, at peak, and that just blew my mind. I thought maybe I'd be up there with the, the big games, but I had no idea that I would just like break the ceiling. Roblox itself is a game engine, and then it's a platform for you to publish games on where other people can play those games. When you start off as a player, that means you're playing games that other people had created. So I started when I was like nine years old, and I quickly learned that you can actually create games on Roblox, and that really grabbed my interest. Roblox, the engine, provides this cross-platform API for you to do things like draw graphics on the screen, basic physics um, engine, so that you can focus on making the game and then publishing it to all different platforms. I mean, at school, we play things like Tag and Cops and Robbers. There was this one idea that I just really liked, and that was this, this idea of Jailbreak, which is there's, there's prisoners and police. My goal going into Jailbreak was to have no tutorials, nothing. It just was something that people could know what to do. And I think the idea of police and prisoners and criminals really helps with that because it's a real world conflict. And before you play the game, you kind of already know how to play the game, you know? I think because it's so easy to get into and because there's so much to do, you can play for hours. It's just me and my business partner. I do all the programming and my business partner does the 3D modeling. So for example, in the game, if you see a car, he designs what it looks like, and then I make it come to life, and I do all the programming to make it move and drive. Started about two years ago, and worked on it every day for about five months. Released in April of 2017, and it was an instant success. For many years, Roblox was just this free platform where you could create games, and people were just having fun making games, and seeing other people play them. But the way that Jailbreak makes money is it's free to play, but in the game you can upgrade your vehicle, make cosmetic changes like add textures to your vehicle, things like that. You can buy virtual currency in the game, and so people pay money, and then I cash it out, and that's how I make money. It doesn't really hit me how significant it is, but it is a very big deal, and I'm very blessed to be able to uh, do things like support myself financially through college. At Duke University, I get to do completely what's fun to me and that's I know that's where I work the best is when I'm having the most fun. Our team is really small, it's just me and my business partner and so we are constantly reaching out to players and listening to their feedback on Twitter and we can make changes instantly. Um, for updates we constantly just pull our players and play with them and see what kinds of things they want and so we have a really good understanding of the entire game at its core and so we know like what kinds of things we can add and what kinds of things we should add and we just go do it and everyone loves it. My business partner and I have never met in real life. Even with all this success and all the money we've made, we've never met each other in real life, in person. And I think that's just a true testament to the digital world these days. Like you can have these giant businesses and giant projects and work together with people without ever meeting them. I know so many people around the world that I would have never had the opportunity to meet if it were not for something like Roblox that brought us together.